Hi, I'm Nicole from Liberty Park Music, and I've repeatedly come across a few common questions related to learning music theory, so I wanted to make a quick video addressing some of these. In this video, I'll cover the question, what are sharps and flats? In short, sharps and flats are symbols called accidentals that we add in front of a given letter named note to move it one half step, or one piano key if you're a visual person higher or lower than what that letter name would normally give you. The sharp symbol tells you to move one half step higher than the note's letter named location. So if you have an F sharp notated, find the F key, then go to the next key higher. On the piano, this means to the right. And that black key is F sharp in that context. The flat does the opposite. It will move you one half step lower than where the letter name of the note would place you. The physical actions you have to take to make a note go higher or lower will depend on your instrument, though. Want to learn a bit more? Let's go! In a bit more detail. The way we name pitches or notes in English and German-speaking countries is by using the first seven letters of the alphabet, adding the words flat and sharp, to access the other five notes of what we call the chromatic scale, the set of 12 different pitches on which most Western music is based. The letters we use are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. In German, you sometimes see H, too. Other languages will use syllables like Do, Re, Mi, and Fa from the solfege system to name pitches. First off, this graphic shows the layout of keys on the piano. We'll be using the piano quite a bit here since the keys that correspond to each pitch are easy to see. Not like a violin, where you just have to know where to put your finger, or wind and brass instruments that rely on mouth positions and complicated fingerings. And here are the keys with their labels. Notice how the black keys have two names. Because the white keys get the standard letter names, we use sharp and flat to get to the black ones. Yes, the sharp looks like a hashtag and the flat looks like an odd B. Just add sharp to any letter name and you'll get the key just to the right or to the ear higher than the white key with that letter name. If you add flat to any letter name, you'll go one key to the left or to the one that sounds just a little lower. That neighboring key distance is called a half step. And yes, sometimes you can get a white key with a sharp or flat name. Like if we start on B, then say we want B sharp. Well, the key immediately to the right of B is C. It's still a white key, but in certain contexts, we may need to call it B sharp. This situation's pretty rare, though. Notation principles for accidentals. In notated music, sharps and flats always go to the left of, that is, in front of, the note they alter. In a piece of music, any sharp or flat applied to a note, let's say A with a sharp, will apply to any other appearances of that same note, so any future A's in that same octave, in each measure. Once we get to the end of the measure, the bar line, we get a clean slate and don't assume that A is still sharp unless we see another sharp in front of the A. So when using accidentals, you have to keep using them again in every new measure. In most cases, you also won't assume that an accidental applied to a note will also apply for any appearances of that note in different octaves. In order to undo a sharp or flat you've applied to a note earlier in the measure, you'll use a natural sign, which looks like this. And in written music, it will also go in front of the note, just like sharps and flats. For more info on sharps, flats, and other fun accidentals, check out the following lessons. Do you have any related questions or other music theory topics you'd like to ask about? If so, leave a comment and let us know. Thank you for watching this Liberty Park music lesson. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like and share it. If you want to learn more on this or any other music theory related topics, visit libertyparkmusic.com, which has full music theory courses from beginner to advanced levels. Our courses are all online and available 24-7 for you to stream.